Hey guys, Lou here from LT's Custom Woodworks. Today is another rainy day, but it's also another day, another dollar. Uh, today we are going to get started on the uh, back on the trundle bed frame. An update on this one here. This is all ready for prime and paint. This is the bottom half. Uh, haven't decided on color yet, but it is ready for primer and paint ready to go. That the top bed frame now I'm going to start is the the legs for the headboard and the um, footboard. So. I did the glue up yesterday. Today I'm going to take them out of the clamps and start milling them down to the size I need and we're gonna go from there. So I'll get started on that. So the first thing we're going to do is get the glue. We're just going to clean up the glue excess, the squeeze out on one side only. And then from there I can run it through the table saw to clean up one edge or I can use my joiner either or. And then we'll do the same thing to the other side. I'll slice it down. Then I'll run it a couple passes on the joiner to clean it up, sand it down and ready for cutting to the length I need and go from there. So I just basically take a chisel just to clean up the edges so it's a little bit easier on the, it's not gonna get in your way for when you cut. I was going to make a couple of passes on the joiner there, but it wasn't too bad, so I just decided to sand it only. So I can't, uh, I can't complain. So this would be the footboard. So the way I'm, I'm, I took the time to cut these to length already. And the length I made on these ones is 21 and a half. Now, when you rest it up against here like this, you want a one inch space from the top here to here. And that's where your bed frame is gonna start on the upper hand. So it gives you enough room to go and pull this out and push it back in. So I'm gonna mark this here and I'm gonna measure an inch up. The mattress size is six inches. So 
So basically, your side rails, front and back rail, is going to start at this height here. So you're going to have a one inch space. So the side rail I'm going to make it is three inches, but I'm going to put a platform for the mattress on the inside, three quarters of an inch. And I'm actually going to do the same thing I did here. I dropped this panel down. So I'm going to allow six, I'm going to mark this up three and three quarter inches. The mattress height is going to be six. So if you measure from here to here, you got four and three quarters from here to the top. I'm going to bevel these ends at the top because I think it would look better. There's going to be a plywood insert and a top rail. It's going to be plain and simple, quick, fast, and easy. So I'm going to start off by, I'm going to, I'm going to round off, I'm going to put a five degree bevel. You can either round it off or I can use a round over bit or I can actually bevel it on the miter saw. I think I'm going to go with the bevel. I'm going to five degree this. I'm going to see how that looks. If I need to go more, I will go more. So now that I got these determined, I need to determine the length of the of the uh, uh, headboard so I'm going to trim off these the bottoms first so it sits flush There's one. I will flush the other one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark a half inch all the way around. And I will do that to all four posts. And this is going to be... my mark where I'm going to be cutting that bevel. Uh, that I, Sorry, I only have to do it for two posts. And only on the tops. And you'll see why in a minute. We're going to take it over to the to the miter saw. Okay, so I was going to bring it at 5 degrees, but it's uh, not going to work at 5. So I got this right now set at 30 degrees. I'm going to try the 30 first. And if I have to go more, I will go more. Right now it's sitting at 30 degrees. We're going to line this up to that line. I'm going to move my stop over and lock it in place. That way, if that one first cut is good, I will keep turning it all the way around. And that, I do not mind that at all. So, we're going to bring the other one. Do the same thing. And make sure that I have this on the right path here. And 
that is looking good. Okay, the next one. So the reason why I didn't do a 12 of them because now this is going to change. This is longer. So I'm going to undo my stop here. Slide that over. I'm going to set my soft again to the to the half inch mark that I made. I'll lock my stop in so I don't lose my measurement. is that and they look fantastic I will do the same thing to the other so what I'm gonna do here is I measured up 28 inches and 29 inches what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mark and I can go all the way around with this you don't have to I'll mark two sides so I can pick and choose what side I want I'm going to do the same thing to this side as well And I can set a square up so they are identical or I can probably just use this now I'm going to do the same thing to the smaller ones this is just to give it a little bit of a an appeal to this I'm going to mark this one. This one's coming down. Actually, I'm going to leave the back ones out. I'm just going to do the front. Because then it's going to look too crowded on this one. I'll leave this one out. We will do it on these ones. And I'll show you what I do on the table saw. I'm going to put a kerf. I'm just going to use the thickness of the blade, eighth of an inch. And I'm going to cut a line all the way around on the top and the bottom line and I'll set that blade at about an eighth of an inch high in height wise so we'll get set up there okay so I'm going to lower the blade I'm going to set I'm going to cut that line right in the center of this line I made. I'll lock that into place and I'll run my pass.
I've done the one line, I'm going to slide this over and set it up for my second cut. What you're, what you're gonna get. And it just adds a little bit of appeal to your bed post. Let's see if I can get a better shot here. And that's the top of the bed frame. And that is the look that you get here when you bevel these. Adding that curve flying just adds more characteristic to the to the post. I'm going to end it here. To run out and grab some more materials. Uh, the next step is to start building the frame and finishing off the headboard and footboard. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.